What's going on you guys? Que tal mi gente? We are here at the very first vlog of the channel and currently we are at the third largest city close to being the second, DC Min. We'll be showing y'all guys what's popping over here, the pros and cons and just taking a tour around the city. This building right here is called the Palacio del Gobierno which is called the Palace of the Government in English. Everything goes on over here, what happens in the city. And the beautiful park. I don't know what this is called, but we'll take a little tour around here too. But first, we're going to be going to the Catedral of the Tres Magos, which is called Church of the Three Sages. And yeah, come on. A little quick history about this is that the Three Sages, which are Gaspar, Melchior, and Balthasar, were traveling from the east, guided by the Light of a Star, to worship the child Jesus were to bring rich offerings to him, which is gold, myrrh, and incense. Right now they're playing music. Hope it's not copyrighted. I got here which was around mid-January. There was stuff here which were the vendors celebrating some type of feast, I don't remember. And all this was closed down the whole street. But right now they're having a misa. Beautiful. Beautiful. We will stay in there for a couple couple minutes, but we gotta tour around for you guys. So Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. All right guys, when I talk about having the pros and cons when it comes to DC Meat, fortunately, I'm gonna have to be talking about first con. If y'all haven't seen anything different about me, I'm sweating because it's the same type of weather as Cancun, if y'all have been to Cancun. It's just hot and humid. For someone who was born in the US, I'm not used to getting that constant weather feeling over here. But we're doing it for you guys. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that post notifications button to always be posted whenever I post. All right, guys, this street is a place called Electra over here. Pretty much is in IKEA or Sears. Y'all Gen Z kids don't even know what that is. Oh. Electra is called. There's also another place named the Copel, which is on the other side of town. And uh, yeah. When it comes to DC Mean guys, this place hasn't felt the pressure of tourism like many other smaller cities here in Mexico. But I don't underestimate it though because every day and every night in the city centro or the main downtown like where we were at earlier, it can always be packed by vendors, people going to shopping for clothing or going to restaurants in general. Currently right here we're in another park. Place that I haven't been here before. The heat is killing me, guys. But doing this for y'all. Like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah. I'm going to show y'all the Mercado and Copen, which is another place that sort of likes Sears and IKEA. And when it comes to the Mercados, which is something that Mexico has a lot. It's practically like a swami but when vendors pay a fee every month to have their own products be sold. It can be from vegetables, fruits, or digital products. And yeah, I'm gonna be showing you all that. Just taking a little show here in Italia.
Uh, if you ever want to live here, in, wait, if you ever want to live here, easy mean. Uh, have a nice visit. Y'all are gonna be seeing a lot of motorcycles over here. Yeah. All this is the mercado. There's all these people packed every day. As you can call it the cafeteria. Yeah. All these people, other than La Bodega Aurera, from Cope, then Electra, all these vendors selling their own food products. It is in the middle of the mercado. Alright guys, we're at Copen. Like I said, another IKEA. It's one of the popular stores over here. And sometimes it can be a little bit too expensive because with the high pricing and low quality at times. So yeah. All this. Now we are going to Bodega Aurera. It's one of the main two entrances to go over here. This building, guys, the Bodega Aurera, is practically just a supermarket, Walmart, Food for Less, and all that. Now the thing is over here in DC means since it's a smaller city, there's not going to be a Walmart, Sam's Club, Costco, unfortunately, unless if it's in a higher end city. But yeah, it's not that bad of a market. This is the reality guys, if you ever wanna Walk over here, take a nice stroll with your friends, your family. It's gonna be pretty hot, it's gonna be pretty sweaty. So make sure y'all get a drink. I made the mistake of not doing that Bruh. despite living here for already half a year. <laughs> We're having another, probably another feast over there later on. And I guess for right now we're just gonna be strolling around inside the park. I will have to say about this place, the PC Mean, will probably be the people right here, and especially at night, you're not going to feel as unsafe as over there in the US. Because as y'all know, especially in California, you gotta be looking at each other's backs, especially at night, going at home. But here, you can just safely walk around. I've done that many times, and I've kind of fallen into that habit of, you know, just not being too tense up when you're walking alone over here but obviously you always want to keep that in mind about safety so yeah, right now we're going to be eating at the restaurant Casa de los Tres Reyes which is the house of the three kings but I guess before that I just want to be here at the city centro which is the main downtown it's a pretty beautiful park not gonna lie I'm taking some shots over there in the middle which was in front of the Palacio del Gobierno when the Grito de la Independencia happened I was taking a lot of clips over there where almost the whole city gathered up and got into one place where the chairs were even too filled I'll show y'all clips right now and after all that I'm gonna go eat as you can see I can't even talk no more 
my head hurts, it's hot, but that's the reality. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything, so let's go. Yo, what is going on you guys? It's your boy from the future. Sorry, we didn't tell you what dishes we got. We went into the restaurant. What I got is a dish, a regional dish from TC Min called queso relleno. Queso relleno, you know what I'm saying? And then what my dad got is salsa verde con carne de cerdo. And there's other regional dishes here in Tisimin, such as salpimentado de gallina y chambarete de res, de res, empanadas de maíz con queso, sarbutes, pavo de escabeche oriental, cochinita pibir de yucateca, cocina yucateca, las papas dulces, relleno negro. So, yeah. We just got finished eating here Casa de los Tres Reyes. It was I, I give it a seven out of 10. Now we're gonna take you guys to the zoo. We're gonna pass by over there. And it's a little history fact that I wanted to show y'all or tell y'all when we get there. Guys driving to the zoo. <laughs> take y'all a quick tour over here. The Centro. It's probably the only place where it looks pretty modern out of every other place. Bombastic side eye. All right, guys, we're stopping to at one of the gas stations here in DC Mint. Uh, this one's called, I forgot what's it called. Como se llama that? But yeah, we'll keep you guys updated. We'll go to the zoo in a bit. Let's put a big gas, right? This little roundabout that I was showing y'all, or I hope y'all saw in the other one clip. Yeah. My camera's too freaking hot right now, bro. We're almost there guys, to the zoo. Like I said, I'm gonna tell y'all a quick little history fact about this when we get down. Y'all be surprised actually, not going to lie. So, an interesting little story is that there is a certain person here that came to Mexico for the first time back in 1975, Queen Elizabeth II. And back in that time, it was more of a narrow, rocky roads to be driven on. But the Mexican authorities were the ones that were ordered to build the two cupuled, two kilometer cupuled airship. It's right now is currently abandoned, but it's guarded by military platoon. After she landed over here, Tisimin, the people greeted her by having to have orchestras in each corner of the city with a lot of couples dancing in their typical regional outfits. At that time, she immediately began the inauguration of the zoo or began the project, which is now called La Reina, La Reina in her honor, which is called the queen in English. During that time, she was touring around and joining the parts of the city. And then later, as she got back, to the completion of the zoo. There were 2,000 two Gs of Mayan girls and boys who were singing in English, God Save the Queen and Land of Hope and Glory. And yeah, after she completed the tour around here at Isimin and the whole zoo, 
He said it was the best gift that she has ever received to the Mexican governor of PC Min. And yeah, after all that, it became a city with more advancement of Ron. Let's be going to the zoo. There's a quick little story I wanted to share y'all because even the residents here don't even know that themselves until I was told by one of my family members and yeah, let's see what this has to offer. I heard from a few people that there is a train that goes by and takes you around the whole zoo. I don't know if that's true. We're gonna have to find out right now. And yeah, I guess we'll show y'all a quick little montage of everything. Too hot. Too hot. Pretty big, too huge. But not in every gate there's going to be animals from what we've seen so far. Either probably died or they're asleep. And right now we're currently just waiting for the train and see if it arrives so we can have a little cute tour around the whole zoo. So we're gonna keep you all updated. All right? Oh, 
Alright guys, we're now leaving at La Reina Zoológico and I think right now we're just going to be driving around see how the streets are which is another con to be honest but anyway, this is the the Zoológico The Queen Elizabeth so far, we're going to be going around the zoo. Lights out, I'm your favorite. Too many ways, been in your place, there's delays. Add it up, plus signs, it was on the table. Driving and vibing, bring the be later. Wanna make it bigger, just a little bit of. Yeah guys, it's a pretty big zoo, it's pretty large, and we're just gonna go back home and have a film of the streets over here, which is actually a con that I would say about DC Mean is that some of these streets over here, they weren't built right when it came to having the cars be driven here. It's more of the motorcycles that fit here. So this one is like okay, it's a little spacious. But now as you get more on the inside, well, it kind of gets a little bit tough. In case y'all didn't know, this is my, actually my first year learning manual with my dad. Kind of got the hang of it. Kind of want a manual car of my own. As you know, in the US, all automatic, California other states over there so but here in Mexico we still have the most manual cars and over there this is the first street that we're going to go in where it's pretty pretty small so that is one of the first ones so y'all gotta be careful over here because even with the hill sometimes you can't check if there's any motorcycles or people passing so you know the thing is that you gotta chip on your corners because Sometimes you can't really see good over here. Just like over here. Ooh, it can be really dangerous. You gotta be careful. <laughs> now you gotta be careful over here too because sometimes the cars can be a two-way. Like over here, I made a mistake on that part and I got stuck in the street. Here, the corner, I can't see. Oh, possibly compa. Too bizarre. And then you just want to book it like this. <laughs> oh yeah, you see that guys? I'm a professional. I'm the best driver in TC Mean. If y'all ever need a hookup. This is the principal 
this is where it kind of begins to be even more dangerous because now, since it's a hill to our right, it can become a little too fast for it to come down. And the visibility is a little too hard to, to interact with, like over here. Like I say, guys, y'all just want to book it, keep on booking it. Really bad hill over here. Oh, you see that? So we're speeding a little too much, guys. Not even dangerous. No dangerous. <laughs> Hopefully the car doesn't turn off, guys. Oh yeah, professional. You see? <laughs> All right, guys, we're here at the nighttime of DC Mean. You can see it's a little pretty. Pretty empty right now, but it's all good. The other color I wanted to talk about when it came to the food in Tisimin was about not having other cultures involved in these other restaurants, such as like not having Indian food, not having soul food. It can be a pro and a con, just having to eat more regional Mexican food. But if you're someone like me that it's gonna have like you know sushi, but there are two familiar franchise restaurants over here. Pretty sure you guys know it too. One be named Burger King, another one Domino's. Pretty much tastes the same since they're corporations that have to be transported ingredients from other nations, but I haven't tried Domino's yet. Right now we're gonna try all these other food vendors right here from the Eloteros, the Churros. That begs the question guys, how's the security? Is it safe over here? And that's the main part of this channel why I made it because like I said, I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. I'm not gonna give y'all lies, but straight facts. This is for the people that live outside Mexico, for those that are not familiar with the culture or any of the other cities. But when it comes to the people itself, it's pretty safe over here. Um, so far I haven't experienced any type of crime or stabbings or whatsoever, so it's been pretty relaxing for y'all who want to live here, visit one day. It's just that the climate, it's no bueno. This here is La Parque de Luis Espada. I want to take 360. months that I've been living here everyone as you can see as we walk in walking in the streets whether it's just one guy one girl women men if anything I've seen those type of trucks the police trucks on every street ever since I've been here so y'all ain't gotta worry about anything what well, y'all gotta know about Mexicans Except that I'm a no sabo kid, so I'm kind of like 50-50. That's Mexicans, we're more... We welcome other foreigners because they like being curious. We like asking questions. So whether you're from, you know, Nigeria or the US, from Texas, from Asia, any other type of country, it doesn't matter. We welcome anyone. Right now, it kind of rained. Eh, it's still a little bit warm. But, see, that's what we got over here. That street, this pocket street corner, is what I was talking about. The Burger King that I was talking about right here. Right in that pocket right there. All right guys, so I think we're gonna be, it's a little noisy here, but I think we're gonna have to go get a small box of pizza. Domino's maybe a medium one, depending how hungry I am. Yeah. So far, this is this me, guys. I catch y'all when we get there. Another market, guys. Soriana. Se llama Soriana. <laughs> Stop for for 
dominoes all the way over there. on that pizza was was high I mean to be honest the pizzas over here for some reason they don't even put a lot of tomato sauce I don't know why very little cheese and then it's like almost like pure bread but you know inside it was like a late night type of you know snack dinner whatever I mean I eat a lot so I mean, I don't know. but anyway what I didn't mention is the utility cost I talked to some of the locals and a couple of my friends too around here. You know, if you're just like a couple, you know, you have like a baby on the way or you already have a baby, you know, taking it kind of slow, you know. For three people in a household, approximately is going to be like 900 pesos for gas, 65 pesos for water, and 1200 pesos for electricity. And with that total, it's gonna be a whopping 2,165 pesos, if I'm not mistaken. If you were to convert that to the US dollar, it's going to be at a whopping $118 and like 0.60 cents. That's crazy, you, you, dude, you know how much? That's like a unlimited data plan for three people, just for that bill alone. You know, because in California, you already know if y'all live in California watching this video, dude, that's like, <laughs> That's nothing. Imagine what y'all pay for water alone over there, you know, for electricity, for gas, all that. And here, you know, it's just that price. But, you know, fortunately, this is not the U.S. And you're going to get paid less from working, but you do pay less for the utilities. With that type of cost, you know, it's better for people who are foreigners that do earn more than that. You know, from that type of perspective where you're paying every month that type of price, those type of costs. And then, you know, you're living the life of what I've been showing you around. You know, it doesn't seem that bad. What I see right now, all, all sweaty, you know. That's, that's, that's the reality over here. It's gonna be hot, it's gonna be humid. If y'all have any doubts in your mind to say if DC Mean is a good place to live or is it just, you know, just a good place to visit or something like that. I feel like it's going to depend in the months because what I didn't mention yet is a fair called Feria de los Reyes Magos opens around like December 15th, December 22nd all the way to January 15th or 22nd when I got here it was like around that time it was like one of the biggest fairs I ever intended in my life around that year too that's when it gets like even more cooler colder than what it is now because I feel like once you get past you know, February and you, you start visiting here like around March through like October, like right now. It's gonna be too hot for you guys. Like it's gonna be the same thing as Cancun. So I feel like, yeah, it's it's worth it to get here, but more on like on November through January, I feel like. And then when the, the fair does open up eventually, yeah, like in two months, I'll film that for y'all. Cause unfortunately I did not record any footage from that time. It was way before I even started this channel, so. And yeah, guys, you know, overall, I get DC mean like a, probably like a 7.5 out of 10, not gonna lie. The weather plays a really big part for me, at least personally. Someone who gets exhausted, dehydrates really fast, you know, it's like I gotta keep like three cold water bottles just to walk around the whole city. But if y'all like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And share this with your friends, you know, with your family, whatever, your significant other, if y'all, you know, someday wanna visit DC mean here, you know, or live here, I don't know. Let me know in the comments and I guess we out. Peace.